Hello grade 6, this is your teacher, Teacher Hannah, that will make your English easy and fun to learn. For today's lesson, we will learn the three types of making connection to text. But before we begin, let's find out what you already knew in our lesson. What type of connection is this? Is it text to text? text to self, or text to world. Pause the video before I reveal the answer. Very good! That is text to world. Next, number two, what type of connection is this? Text to text, text to self, or text to world. Pause the video before I reveal the answer. Correct! That is text to self. How about this? Is it text to text? Text to self or text to world? You can pause the video before I reveal the answer. Good job! That is text to text. Next, what type of connection is this? Text to text, text to self, or text to world? Wow! That is text to self. Last, is it text to text, text to self? or text the world. Pause the video before you reveal the answer. Very good! That is text the text. So now, let's find out what is the meaning of connection. Connection is a relationship in which a person, thing, or idea is linked or associated with something else. Now, what is making connection to text? Have you ever experienced this? Crying while reading? How about laughing while reading? You experience this because you personally connect your emotion to the text or story. On top of that, you relate the text to your own experiences. As a result, you can easily understand the text that you are reading. So, making connection is a critical reading comprehension strategy that helps in defining what you are reading. Making connections helps you to retain the information better, to make sense of what you read, and engage more to the text itself. And there are three types of making connection. You can make connection between text-to-text, text-to-self, and text-to-world. In text-to-text, -text, you connect what you are reading to other books that you have read before. Just like for an example, I've read a book about venomous snakes. Then, I remember the top 10 dangerous snake of the world. And here are some examples of text-to-text -text connection. I read a chapter book about a girl who worked in factory in New York. It reminded me of an article that I read in school about child labor laws. And here are the four guide questions in making text-to-text -text connections. Now, let's move on to text-to-self connection. You connect what you are reading to your personal experience, that is, text to self connection for example this story reminds me of a vacation i had on a beach just like the main character another example i read an article about how to catch a football it reminded me of the time i caught the football during the championship football game and captured the victory for my team and here are the simple guide questions in making text-to-self connections. How is this similar to my life? 
How is this different in my life? Has something like this happened to me? What are my feelings when I read this? Lastly, in text to world, you connect what you are reading to real events, whether in the past, present time, social issues, other people, and happenings going in the world. I saw a news about how water pollutions affect marine animal. It reminded me of the whale died in Dabao. Another example, I read a magazine about the new airport the city is planning to build. It reminded me of how small many local airports are. And here are the guide questions you can use in making textural connections. To sum up the lesson, here are the three kinds of making connection. Now, get your pen and paper ready, we'll have a short quiz. Identify how the following readers make connection to this text. I read a magazine about the new airport that the city is planning to build. It reminded me of how small men local airports are. Next, number two. Sheila read an article about a woman open a boat rental business at a lake. It reminded her of her tour in Laguna Lake. For number three, Samuel is reading a book where a character visits a loved one on the hospital. It reminds Samuel of when he visited his grandmother in the hospital. Then, for number 4, in the story that I've read, there was a bushfire. It reminded me of the terrible bushfire in Australia last summer. We're down to the last number, number 5. Mark is reading a book about rockets. He thinks that something he read contradicts a fact he saw in another book. So he makes a note to look it up when he gets home. And here are the answer key for you to find out if you get the correct answer. That ends our lesson for today. If you have questions, write it on the comment section below. Again, this is your teacher, Teacher Hannah. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more upcoming video lessons. Thank you and God bless!